The other big story we're working on today is a pair of former trainees at the Boise Police Advanced Academy filed an intent to sue the city. Now they are accusing the Boise Police Department of retaliation. Our Shira Matsuzawa is here now to unravel this and find out what's behind the claim. Shira? Mark, those former trainees say they were targeted after reporting an instructor for placing another student in a chokehold. Now, 33-year-old Joshua A. Kaiser and 34-year-old Jeffrey David Triplett filed that notice of the tort claim yesterday. They were both selected to go through the department's 20-week in-house training program that began in January of this year. But according to the filing, they were told to either resign or be fired after an incident that happened on March 7th. We spoke with their attorney, Joe Felicetti. He says, the retaliation against his clients began after the class paid a visit to a Nutra shop to use a machine that measures body composition. Now, during that time, a different trainee refused to share his results with the group's fitness instructor. The filing says that instructor then put the trainee into a chokehold. Kaiser, Triplett, and a third fellow trainee reported what happened to their academy instructor, and from then on, their attorney says they were retaliated against. Triplett and Kaiser say that false entries were made in their training records and that their original passing scores were also modified. Well, this was turned into internal affairs and nothing happened by the Boise Police Internal Affairs, so we figured a lawsuit would be the next step. There's problems inside the Boise Police Department and they need to be fixed. They need to be fixed right now. Lawyers are seeking $500,000 in damages each for Kaiser and Triplett. Felicetti says he will see how the department responds and then file a whistleblower lawsuit. We reached out to both the Boise Police Department and the city of Boise. They declined to comment because of pending litigation. Mark? This is a very detailed and long tort filing that they have. You can find out much more right now on KTVB.com.